battle brewing between the media and a religious freedom group. Earlier this week, Attorney General Jeff Sessions spoke at a closed-door event before the group known as the Alliance Defending Freedom. They are known for fighting for religious liberties, and they hold an accomplished track record of fighting cases before the Supreme Court of the land. But ABC News used this headline to describe the event. Jeff Sessions addresses anti-LGBT hate group, but DOJ won't release his remarks. The Alliance Defending Freedom is now demanding a retraction and an apology from ABC News over that label, which originated from the SPLC, a group well known for their partisan designations of so-called hate groups. So here now with exclusive reaction, Kerry Kupak is legal counsel and communications director for Alliance Defending Freedom. Kerry, good to have you here uh, tonight. For those who Thanks don't know, um, give everybody a feel for the kind of work and the kind of cases that your group has taken before the Supreme Court. Alliance Defending Freedom is the world's largest religious freedom legal advocacy organization, and we advocate for the rights of all people to freely and peacefully live, speak, and operate according to their faith without threat of government punishment. We've been at the Supreme Court many times, and we have won seven cases in seven years. Uh, we are a respected Supreme Court practice, and we represent people from all walks of life and backgrounds. Do you hate uh, people who are LGBT? No, not at all. And it's insulting to even hear something like that, which is what was in that headline, which yeah. is why we were so upset. In fact, the people that we represent, especially with respect to the wedding industry, which is where this issue typically comes up, uh, these clients all have a common denominator, and that's that they serve and love everyone who walks through their doors. They can't participate in all religious events that violate their faith, but I would hope that we would want that same freedom for everyone. All right, so in terms of ABC, and their response, you know, where does that stand right now? You certainly let them know that you'd like a retraction. Are, are they going, is that going to be forthcoming? I haven't heard anything, and I, what really bothers me so much about the headline and the story uh, is that it's unethical. This is not ethical reporting. Uh, this kind of reporting does not allow for the civil discourse the American people want to engage in on these issues. It doesn't allow for a fair conversation, because if... ABC is going to team up with a well-known left-wing propaganda machine like Southern Poverty Law Center, an organization known to incite violence who lost their way a very long time ago. I would really appreciate uh, the opportunity to tell them a little bit more about our organization and all the kinds of work that we do, in yeah. ca including campus free speech, academic freedom, and so much more like we just discussed. Uh, I mean, it's worth pointing out that the Southern Poverty Law Center has, you know, sort of had a, a credible background uh, from which they have swayed and they've gotten a lot of negative attention in recent years, but they've condemned the KKK and the Westboro Baptist Church, which I think there would be a pretty broad understanding of. But yeah. then they put in that same category uh, Charles Murray, Ion Hersey Alley, and, and now, by extension of this article, your group as well. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, like you said, they used to do good work, and now their, uh, quote, hate label has become a joke. They attack veterans, they attack nuns, they attack Catholics, they attack evangelicals, they have attacked Muslims who are fighting uh, Muslim extremism. Uh, they just typically hate everyone who disagrees with their particular left-wing ideology, and it's got to stop. And it's disappointing that ABC would undermine their credibility and professionalism by cutting and pasting from SPLC's mm. website and press releases and dropping that into a headline about us, especially without giving all of the facts about Alliance Defending Freedom that I just laid out. All right. Well, uh, we will see. Uh, obviously, you want a response and you want a retraction, and we'll see if you get it from ABC. Carrie Kupek, thank you very much for being here.